I've been doing weddings, video vlogs, and YouTube videos. And when you're doing weddings, you're going from indoors to outdoors, you're going from 4K, sometimes you need to do 1080p, switch it to slow motion. So I'm gonna show you how I set up the camera to switch in between these really fast. We're gonna go over memory recall and how to set that up. So when you're going from 4K to 1080p, you just switch the dial. There's two switches on top, and then inside the camera, there's four other options. So you can switch back and forth really quick when you're doing some run and gun shooting. All right, so in this video, we are gonna be focusing on memory one and two that you can see here on the dial. Um, you can switch in between memories really quick just by switching the dial. So if you're gonna go from indoors to outdoors, um, 4K to 1080p, all you gotta do is switch that, switch that dial for the different settings. So right now, let's go back into our menu and I'll show you how we can set up these settings. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our mode dial is set to the little film strip. And so what we have here is we're in 4K right now. We're at a shutter speed of 1 50th. Our f-stop is at four. And we're gonna take our ISO for this one and we're gonna go all the way down to 1600, okay? Then I'm gonna go over to, we got S-Log2 in our picture profile. That's what we're gonna set. Our uh, white balance is set to auto. We're gonna take our volume, we're gonna set it down to uh, one because we usually hook up a recorder. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into menu and we're gonna go over to the camera and we're gonna go to nine where it says memory. So now we're gonna select memory. And you go, what does that do? That brings up this menu here. And you have memory one, two, which are on the dial, and then you have memory one, two, three, and four. And all four of those, M1, M2, M3, and M4, all save to your, uh, S, uh, to your card that you put in the camera. So once you take out the card, if you put a different one in, the uh, M1, two, three, four will not be there. So what we're gonna do now is you notice that I have a picture profile seven is up there. We got a ISO 1600, F point F4, uh, a shutter speed of 1 50th. We're in 24 frames a second. We got continue autofocus. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push okay for memory one. You always that do that just brings us back to the memory screen. Now let's go out. Now I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna change, let's just change the ISO to, to 8,000. Let's, let's bring this up. We'll just do that, okay? Now, we're gonna take our dial real quick and we're gonna go to one. Boom, all of a sudden, all those settings that we just saved are now set to profile one. Now, let's go back in to memory now we got the memory recall. Now that we've set one, we can bring it up, okay? So now let's go back to our film strip. And now we're gonna bring our f-stop down to four. We're gonna stay at 1 50th. We're gonna go into our picture profile. And now we're gonna choose Cine 4. Now we can take our ISO down to 200. Because usually when we're, this is our profile for outside, so that's what we have. Now we're going to go to white balance auto, sound one, everything looks good. We're shooting in 4K. All right, you know, that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu. We're going to select memory. Now we're going to select number two. So. Now we go to our mode dial, now we select number two. There is all the settings that we just selected. So now we can go from indoor 
to outdoor and all we got to do is click of a one button. So right now we have memory one set to indoors. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change this to slow motion at 60 frames a second. So we still got our picture profile. We want to keep that exactly the same. So the only thing that we're going to change is we're going to go into menu and now we're going to go file format, SHD, and now we're going to choose 60 frames a second at 50 megabytes per second. So now we're switching to 60 frames a second at 50 megabytes per second. Okay. That's the only thing that we're going to change in here. Now we'll go back to our menu, exit out of this. And now we're going to change our shutter. Sorry, we go to our shutter. Now I'm going to change this to 1 25th of a second. And now, because it's a lot darker, it's going to be inside. We're at, you know, S log 2. We're going to change our ISO. Well, let's bump it up to 6400. You can make a change really quick, but that's a, a good overall setting. Um, you know, we're going to leave auto white balance, um, the uh, record level, because when we do slow motion, you're slowing down the video. The audio is going to be thrown off, so we're not, you know, we're not too worried about that. Let's see where our focus is. We got a center focus. Uh, zebras don't got to really worry about because we're inside, but we can set them to 100 plus. Everything's pretty much the same. So now we're going to go back into the menu. Now I'm going to go to memory. Not one because that's saved. Not two. We're going to go to three or M1. And now that's saved. So now let's go to the mode dial up top. Let's go from one to two, but instead of being on two, let's select M1. And see there we got we got manual, we got 125th, all those settings that we just save is now from M1. So now I can go from slow motion, and now I can switch back to one, and now I'm back to you know normal speed 4k so you can switch really really quick back and forth if you want to get some slow motion shots really quick then after you get the slow motion you want to switch back to normal speed you can do this with a click of a button so we're going to go into menu and we're going to change into xavc shd and now we're going to select 120p at 100 megabytes Per second and so what this does now is this is high frame rate mode of is what we're going to be setting into and this setting does slow motion at four times slow motion and it's like 480 frames per second and when you're recording this there is no audio being recorded so if you want to get audio of this, you need to get uh, another source not coming from your camera. So now that we have that set up, we're going to go back to our function button. And we're in manual and it says movie high frame rate. So we're going to select that. And now we're going to select manual exposure. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're doing this is the image is cropped in quite a bit. So you need to be careful when you're setting this up and how dark, dark the room is going to be. There's going to be a, a lot more noise. So we're going to go back into our menu now. Scroll all the way back over to memory. Go into memory. So we've already set one, we've already set two, we've already set M1, so now we're going to scroll over to M2. Okay, now let's take our dial on the top, let's just select two. Now when you select two, you can scroll over, there's our settings for number two, which are Cine, Cine 1, I'm sorry, Cine 4, 
Now there is our settings for 60 frames per second. And now we have our slow motion. I'm gonna put the mode dial on setting one. If you guys can see that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the menu And the only thing that I'm going to change is from 4K to just standard HD. And we're going to set this to 24 frames a second. Go back out. Picture profile. We'll do S-Log2. Now we go into M3. And what this is is the same as, as memory 1 but now we're in HD instead of 4K. And the reason why I do this is when you're doing longer recordings, these cameras have a tendency to overheat. So now when you downgrade, um, it, you know, your camera's not gonna overheat. If you don't have enough room on your card, now you can switch over and now all of a sudden uh, you have more room and your camera's gonna not overheat. So that's how I set up the memory. If you guys have any questions of how to set up memory, memory recall, please leave them down in the description. If you guys could please like this video and please subscribe, I would appreciate it. Thanks.